So let's just talk patterns before we move on. Um, right now I've called something here that I've made called managers. Now the truth is, I don't even know if there's a pattern called managers, I can't find it. It's something I came up with uh, to try and explain to you that we're managing the person, we're managing the wishes, we're managing the status lists. Um, so that was the goal, but there's actually a pattern out there that kind of does the exact same thing that we are trying to do here, and that's called the repository pattern. So what I want to do now is I want to rename everything from managers into repository pattern instead. So I'm just going to go in and refactor and rename just to show you guys how easy that actually is. Um, adjust namespace here. So I'll go in here and I'll say that wasn't what I wanted. I'll go in here and I'll rename the folder that was what I wanted and call it repository. Repository. So that's kind of the new name or repositories up to you. Now the problem is that it hasn't renamed them in here. So notice the namespace is still the same. Now that was actually, if you go in here and you right click and you say refactor and you say adjust namespaces, automatically it'll go in and refactor all the namespaces into being called repository instead. So let me just say next here and look at this. It just regenerates the code. Now it's actually called person DLL repository, right? So we just fixed that one. Thanks God. I didn't have to do it manually all the, all the areas, right? It just fixed it for me. Cool. What else do we need to do? Well, I, instead of calling this the abstract manager, I want to rename this. I want this to be called the abstract repository instead. We're going to do that as well. Repository, right? Like this. Press enter. There we go. Now it's called the repository. But notice it didn't uh, rename it in here, right? Let's do that instead. Control R R. I did Control R and I did Control R again. I'll just call the repository in here. Abstract repository. Let me just copy repository because I'm going to do it a lot. I'll save that and I'll say next and I'll say next and now it's renamed, right? And um, we're not done yet because there's a lot of other places like the I manager. So let me just try and rename for the entire application, right? So I'll try and do a control um, search or find and here I'll say every place this might go destroy everything. But we're going to try. Every place says manager right? We have a place that says something with manager. I want you to rename that into something with repository. <laughs> yeah, this is nuts. We're going to try and do it. Let's see what happens. Replace all of it. One replaced. What? That wasn't enough. Let's say not the current document. Let's say the current project. Let's say the entire solution. No, the current project, right? We do it again. Rename everything. Replace all open files. Yeah, we'll do that. So it kind of opens everything, it replaces, so we can actually undo everything if we want to. Let's try and save all. Let's see what happened. It didn't change the names out here again. I don't know why it doesn't do that. It's not very helpful. So we just do that here manually. Rename them here. We'll rename them here. Now again, maybe it would just have been faster just to do this all over. I don't know. It's up to you. Um, I might get some box now when I've done this. Let's see it. This is actually the file names it didn't rename for me. Um, so why change it from repository to manager or from manager to repository? Well, it's because the repository pattern is actually a real pattern that people understand. So when I say, well, we use the repository pattern, people will say, oh, okay, I get that. I know what that is. So you might as well just learn to use the real names. Um, it's just a way for us to communicate a repository. Think of that as um, a copy of your database in memory. That's kind of the repository pattern. It's about copying some information from the database into memory. Now, there's another pattern we'll look at later called unit of work because some people really don't like the fact that we can actually change information in a repository pattern. Like here we can update and we can also delete uh, and we can rename stuff. That's not very, not stuff. There's a lot of people out there who don't like that. They want the repository pattern to be only a duplicate of the database, right? But that's the repository pattern. It seems we got everything up and running again. Let's see if we get any errors, if we rebuild everything. If not, now you kind of converted your not real manager pattern into a real uh, repository pattern that we actually know. So I see one more change I need to do here before we actually do the rebuilds. So now you guys also saw how you can actually start renaming uh, if you used wrong naming conventions. This is how you can start renaming stuff. And uh, let's just do a clean rebuild here. See if something breaks. You might see errors later. What can you do? We'll figure those out later as we move forward. It seems that everything is successful now. So let's end it here. Now we're actually working with the repository pattern instead of the unknown manager pattern that Lars created earlier. 
So now we're using a real pattern, guys. Yay, patterns! We gotta love it! Woohoo! See you in the next lesson where we'll start using these patterns.